In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to use the clone tool in your digital art application. Not all applications offer a clone tool, but many do. Some applications may even refer to this as a stamp tool, though they all do the same thing. The clone tool allows you to sample an area of your image and paint with it elsewhere. It's important to note that the clone tool only works on a single layer at a time, so if you're trying to clone from several layers, you'll need to switch between them. I'll load this clone tool template, which has some tree stumps in the water. Let's say I want to remove one of these stumps. Rather than painting over it with the background colors, I can clone the background over it. To use this tool, hold Alt and click on an area in the image that you want to use as your source. I'll click on the water surrounding the stump I want to remove. Just be sure the area you select matches the color and value of what's surrounding the object you are covering up. A target point is created. Now when I paint, the image is duplicated from one part of the image to another. The source cursor is linked to my brush cursor, so if I paint upward, the source cursor samples upward as well. Just be careful not to let the target cursor go over anything you don't want to clone, including the object you are removing. It may take creating multiple target points around your image in order to avoid that. You can also use the clone tool to duplicate objects. For example, I can make more tree stumps. And by sampling from multiple stumps, I can make ones that are more unique. You can clean up any hard edges with a blender. This helps the cloned contents fit into the composition. You can even move an object by duplicating it, then covering the previous one up. Just to eliminate any confusion, cloning is a term that is also used to describe photo painting. This is a technique where you paint over a photo to automatically get the details and color while retaining the artistic look of a brush. This is an entirely different process that requires a different set of tools, so if you're interested in learning about that, I have a reference video you can watch. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning about the clone tool.